¿Estás lista? Sí. Ok, 3, 2, you said already? Mm -hmm. Ok. Ok, so who exactly are you? <laughs> My name is Angela Wickstrom and I'm from uh, Texas. I go to Crossroads Tabernacle Church of the Nazarene. And I've been here once before with Kali Colum and Kali Columbia La Iglesia de Nazareno but a plan de maestro and last year we came here my church and my pastor and a couple other pastors from Texas came down to see exactly what the plan is all about here and it was a really awesome experience uh, God really showed up in a lot of ways and we learned a lot about uh, the discipling of 12 and, and how they how la iglesia de oración goes about doing with the consolidation and um, the encuentros and then the discipleship program and the um, classes and cellulas. And it was really awesome last year too. So you were in the process of, of what's happening here in Cali, but what made you come back a second time? Um, well, during that trip, I had uh, a God encounter, I guess, uh, and I met Rachel Coons with Extreme Nazarene, and I know that that was a divine appointment because I've always felt the call to to be a missionary in some form and I didn't know how and um, I definitely knew that I wanted to come back and encounter have do the encounter and see exactly what they do here because it's one thing to be at the plan de maestro and learn about the process and what they do and it's a whole nother thing to see it in action to see how mm. how it works how they do um, the classes and the sayulas and, and what the encounter is all about. <laughs> can, you, can you just tell folks who are listening just what the encounter is so they have an idea? Okay. The encounter, and I actually got to participate in it this weekend, this past weekend, is a three-day event to where you go on Friday night and then um, Saturday morning, early Saturday morning, you go to a hotel spend the night Saturday um, night and um, then you stay all day Sunday too and then you come back Sunday night and basically what it is I compare it to Christian boot camp <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it is awesome it's powerful they do different themes or temas about um, you know sin about sexuality about the Holy Spirit about being saved what Christ did for us on the cross um, and just it's just a very powerful freeing event about forgiveness that was very powerful in my life because there were some people that I needed to forgive that I didn't necessarily know that I needed to forgive and God brought names to my mind when we were speaking names out and that was very powerful in my life and um, then they prayed a prayer of freedom basically from everything and it was that was very powerful too. God really showed up and freed a lot of ladies from from some very hard things that have happened in their lives. But you know, the Bible says everything's possible with God and that who the sun sets free is free indeed. And that happened this weekend. There was true freedom. Can you tell us a little about a little bit more about some of the other experiences that you had while being immersed within the Cali Church? Okay. Um, well, I got to go to a couple of different events. I got to help out with the, the youth group and then um, a couple of churches that they've planted, Agua Blancas, we got to go on an event to uh, Romero, which uh, was awesome. We went there and uh, worked with the kids and had a church service, had a healing service, and it was really powerful to see um, how how they use prayer as such a foundation of everything because we woke up at 5 a.m. to pray and you know to basically anoint the air and the area with God's Spirit and God really moved in that to 25 to 30 people got saved adults got saved 30 kids got saved um, there was over 50 people in the area and we later found out that this is a big area where there's gambling and a lot of drinking and you know just a place that's in very much in need of Christ and of freedom also from you know sins and past sins and and that was a very powerful thing and I got to work with San Judas the uh, church, church of the Nazarene in San Judas and do construction 
and that was awesome too to see the the pastor of the iglesia in the hole <laughs> digging <laughs> and doing the sermon and it was it was powerful just to see them building up the the body of Christ, the Church of Christ, you know, building it basically by hand, and it was awesome. <laughs> Can you tell us just in just a couple of sentences what the main difference you experienced between attending the Plan of Maestro versus being immersed with it inside the church? Um, well, the Plan of the Maestro is is powerful, and it's like I liken it to maybe like a torch or like a candle that's lit and you bring it back and you know and it's a fire and God starts the fire but being here being immersed in the church and, and going to the the prayer in the morning the clamor de la madrugada and and going to the um, encuentro and going to uh, the little groups of cellulas it's like being immersed in the fire <laughs> And being, you know, just by it, uh, just it was just powerful. God's spirit here is so thick, and it's it's undeniable, and it's freeing, and it's awesome. <laughs> Can you give us in, in kind of like a a few sentences as well, but like what Extreme Columbia did for you in Personally? this two weeks? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, um. Well, I got set free at the encounter from a lot of things from my past, which was awesome. And, you know, God just spoke to me in a very powerful way that that I don't necessarily have to have everything planned out. <laughs> that, that He can uh, take care of stuff. And that, um, like, when I went to one of the Sayulas, Maraceli was, uh, she preached on Jehoshaphat. And how uh, Jehoshaphat was surrounded by the enemy and there was nothing that he could do and you know but he cried out to God and God showed up and God showed his power and that's kind of what God's been telling me and then we talked about it afterwards and she said the exact same thing that God was telling me that, that sometimes God just wants to show up and show how how powerful he is and what he can do and that we don't have to depend on ourselves and that's what he's told me and he's basically told me kind of when I'm going to missions <laughs> in 2013 <Woo> um, <laughs> um, but and it's either with the 4040 or coming back here one of the two <laughs> so I still need clarity on that but um, or both who knows God knows <laughs> um, but yeah God really moved in my life and at uh, the encuentro they said uh, nunca más seré, seré quien antes fui and that I will never be again who I once was. Mm. So. Thanks. <laughs>